Hello everyone, it's Peter Moran from Property Central. Now I'm here today, obviously like the rest of you out there, getting through the COVID conditions. And COVID also means for people like myself, a little bit of homeschooling. But there is a plus to that. It's given me an opportunity to brush up on my mathematics. And today I'm going to introduce two special guests to help me with what we're gonna talk about today, which is the growth that's happened in some of the suburbs in the 2261 property market. So I'd like to introduce Please come on in, Oliver Moran and Amelia Moran. Please take a seat. Hey guys, how are you going? Good. Thank That's you. good. Homeschooling, don't you love it? <laughs> totally. Yeah, it's so good, isn't it? Not. <laughs> Thank Not. you. Right, now guys, you're going to help me because we've been doing a bit of research, haven't we, over the last few days? Mm -hmm. And we've been working out some calculations based on what's been happening in the property market around here in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at some slideshows here behind us. Now let's look at the suburb of Long Jetty. Now the average sale price at the moment, as you'll see, is $783,000. Now the capital growth in the past 12 months for Long Jetty has been 15.15%. Now for a lot of people that doesn't mean much, but if we start to use our mathematical brain, and we've been refreshing that this morning, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. And we can calculate that, okay, if we deduct 15.15% off the coverage at the current, I should say, average sale price of 783, it brings us back to an average sale price only 12 months ago, which was sitting around about $680,000. Okay, so, more importantly, Ollie, I know you like to talk dollars. So in dollar terms, what does it mean? It means that we've seen an average price growth of $103,000 in the past 12 months for Long Jetty. That's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Very good. Not bad. Now, tell me guys, how many weeks are there in a year? 52. Oh, excellent. Gee, your maths is good. How many days are there in a year? 365. Oh, well done. Top of the class. Right, so what did we work out? Well, we worked out that if you earned $103,000 in the last 12 months just by sitting on your property and doing nothing, on average, it's grown by... $1,981 per week, or $282 per day. Ollie, $282 a day, that's a lot of soccer balls, isn't it? Yes. Seeing a soccer fan. <laughs> Love that. I know. All right, let's look at Bado Bay. So Bado Bay, average sale price sitting at $780,000, capital gain of 16.42% in the past 12 months. Average sale price 12 months ago was sitting at around $670,000. Now, that has meant $110,014 in the last 12 months that property values have grown in that suburb on average. Yep. Pretty good. Which has been $2,115 per week or $301 per day. Okay, Shelly Beach. How gorgeous is Shelly Beach? Very nice. I know. Nice. Did you see the whales down there yesterday? Yeah. I yep. know. Spectacular, eh? All right, so Shelly Beach. You know, the current average sale price in Shelly Beach is over a million dollars. One million and seventy. That's pretty good. A lot of millionaires in Shelly Beach by the sound of that, eh? Yes. Yeah, all right. So their, their average capital grain gain, I should say, in the past 12 months has been just over 12%. It previously was sitting at $955,000 for average sale prices, which means it has grown by nearly $115,000 in the last 12 months, which calculations work out at $2,211 per week, $315 per day. That's pretty good. All right, let's look at Killarney Vale. Now, Em, you've got a friend that lives in Killarney Vale, don't you? Mm hmm And what's your friend's name? Evie. Say hello to Evie. Hi, Evie. Hello, Evie. <laughs> Hope you're watching. I'm sure you will be. Evie, did you know that your current average sale price for your parents' home has gone up from $570,000 to $675,000 in the last 12 months? That's a significant growth of 18.42%. Now, Evie, let's look at that more importantly and what it means to you. $104,994 in the last 12 months. $2,109 per week or $287 per day. Now, Evie, I guess in teenager talk, that means every week on average, that's a new iPhone in value. Your property has increased. Pretty good, eh? All right, Berkeley Vale, current medium sale price, $665,000, 18.75% price growth. $560,000 was where it was sitting 12 months ago. That's a big jump. On average, $105,000 increase, $2,019 per week, $287 a day. Pretty good, eh? Very good. Anymore. That's plenty more to go. Okay, final one we'll look at, uh, just to give us a snapshot. Glenny Valley, now Glenny Valley is really popular. A lot of acreages out there Very and nice. residential home yeah. and some land, of course. So it's had a big jump. 829,500 is where it's now sitting in terms of its average sale price. A massive 
price jump, as you'll see, 24.74%. So previously it was $665,000, $164,521. Increase in 12 months. That's huge. That's Very big. That's a lot. Okay, okay so $3,163 per week or $450 a day. Wow. Wow, indeed. <laughs> all right. So, guys, thank you for your help in doing all those mathematical statistics. It's been great to have you. I hope you've learned a lot. I've learned a lot too. The most important thing I've learned is teachers, good luck. You can have your career. I'll stick to real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, everyone. Please stay safe. Have a great weekend. Thank you again for watching and thanks to my great helpers today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.